Okay, here is the Nicholson interferometer that I made at home. So, governing principle, um, the incident beam comes out from this laser. It gets split on this thing here, which is actually a microscope slide. And the, um, the split beams go out to those two mirrors. They get reflected off of these little mirrors. They come back, they recombine again on the microscope slide and they shoot down towards the wall, about 20 feet away down there, to make a cool interference pattern. And I'll go show you that now. So here is the interference pattern. And I know the phone doesn't really do it justice, but it is quite cool. And um, just sort of because of manufacturing inconsistencies and the fact that like, you know, I'm using a microscope slide and um, maybe the laser's a little cheap and the mirrors are a little dirty, but mostly manufacturing inconsistencies. Um, this isn't like the perfect bullseye um, uh, interference pattern that you'd expect from a Nicholson interferometer, but you can still see like the basic idea that, you know, the phase shift of the um, of the waves we combine and cause an interference pattern. And if I have my brother down there, he just like ever so slightly just taps on the table where the interferometer is is being held, then you can see sort of like slight slight wiggles in the interference pattern and that's like the measuring capability of the interferometer i mean because those are almost imperceptibly small changes in the distances of the mirrors to the microscope slide and you can still see it being reflected um in changes in the interference pattern so yeah